any by any means surprised by the way it was received or was that something that you ex expected? No, su yeah, surprised, yeah, in a way surprised. I mean, by that point, you know, by the time that those films get released, you've been working on it for so long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I and, and you know, it's, it's like with, you know, I don't know, do, do, do you have children? I don't know if you have children. Yeah, I do. Because I do, I, yeah, cause I do. And, and you know, as they grow up, well, you can see it in yourself as well, but it's easier when you're watching your kids, you know, they go through huge changes, but on a day to day, it's very rare. Once in a while, you'll say, wow, it looks like she grew up. It looks like she got a little taller, you know, overnight or something. But, 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 you know, there's enormous growth, but it's, you know, from a, on a day to day basis, it's too, it's too gradual. Like watching plants grow, you know, like, you know, mushrooms, I guess you could almost watch grow, but regular plants, it's too slow to see, but, but there's a huge change over not that long a time. So when you're, when you're deep in the film, especially over years, and you're with it for the changes, you know, when you know, when you know the process, how, how it was made and what all the, th you know, you, you can't help but you can't quite, you try. And I think it's the editor's job to try to be objective. And, and, and one thing I try to always bring to the table is, is to be a good viewer. And I, I, I usually feel my, my gut, I'm, 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 I am able to sit in a room usually and watch something and say, you know, as a first time viewer, this is how I would react to it, even though I've been working on it for. I am able to do that to yeah. a certain extent, and I try to preserve that. And it's one of the reasons why, for example, I always, um, I always request, if at all possible, to be able to look at something fresh in the morning before screening it for somebody. You know, to, to be able to go home, sleep come in and try to look, look at it for the first, instead of having been looking, working on it all day and then show it, come in, look at it and just make sure my perception is still the same as what it was the night before, because, you know, I, I once you're deep into, so with the film, it's, it's that in spades. Um, and even though I, I, I thought it was entertaining, the idea that like, will people, to what extent will people truly get enthralled? is really, is really, I don't know, it's it's like kind of magic. And and with Nemo in particular, I mean, I thought it was good. I I, th I knew I would like it, you know, but what other people were like, you know, there are lots of films that I see that I think like, and not so great and people love them and, you know. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> but so with Nemo, you know, you have these test screenings, um, uh, which you do with pretty much all the big Hollywood studios. Yeah, and yeah. Um, there are companies that run them. So there's only a couple of companies that run them. And so, you, and, and there's only a couple of people that do them. So you get to know, you get to know people, the responses. It's very, you, you're through it. Every film with the same, the same test, same, same people, the, the audiences, the people in the audience are the only thing that's different. And so with Nemo, we went out to on a theater in Ontario, not Ontario, Canada, but there's a small, you know, kind yep, of a, in California. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we went out to Ontario, California, which is a kind of far suburb, exurb of, of LA. Yeah. And um, we screened it. And then they, we, you know, we met, we met with the, with the, after it was over with the folks who crunched the numbers and they said, they told us they were, it was the highest, it was the best response they had ever received. The numbers were almost perfect. Um, and I can tell you that having worked on lots of animated films since then, um, that's true. The no numbers never come close to those numbers. Um, yeah. And they were so spectacular, those numbers, that I actually, a, a few years later, had dinner, a lunch with a, with a, a colleague who, from, you know, from a different studio who accused disney or somebody of having lied about that anecdote because i guess they'd heard that story and saying that's not true it's not possible but it was true i was there i was there they weren't they weren't staging it for my benefit that's for sure so it, uh, the numbers were the highest ever so we did from that standpoint from the standpoint that the test audiences were giving it the highest score that this, that they had ever seen i think i could be misremembering but my memory is that they told us it was the highest score they'd ever seen uh, at the time um there was reason to be optimistic <laughs> yeah no I, I i bet it 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 did it did because it was nearly like i didn't find anything you know too long too quick like the beats the the comedy beats the the scenes every the characters like you know you you look at like i still remember the seagulls and the crab like it wasn't they weren't even main characters 
right? Like, you, you know, just, just little droplets here and there. It was just perfect. Um, and and I think it, it 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 the box office results, you know, obviously show so that the and then it, they came up with a sequel, Finding Dory, uh, which I thought was also amazing. But Finding Nemo for me holds more of a special place. It's probably because you know you watch it a certain time and certain period in your age, and uh, not that I was a kid, but still, I mean, you know, I I find that film just to be really up there. Um, so it 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 you know obviously it took a lot of years for you guys to to make it and to finish it and show it to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. It's, it's gratifying to hear that because, you know, when you work on something for so long, um, yeah. you don't know how it's going to be received, but but you also, you want it to be, that's that's why we do it, right? Because to, 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 to leave something behind that touches people, right? By the way, seagulls and, and the crabs were, <laughs> both, were both Andrew, right? The seagulls were Andrew and uh, and the crab, one of the crabs was Andrew. I think the other one was, uh, was John. Oh, okay. But Andrew's doing, he's doing, even though I guess it doesn't really make sense because it's like, it's Australia, right? He's doing, um, he's doing a Boston, you know. Yeah. I, I, I was a little, sure use me because I, I, I was, I was the, I was the aqua scum. Ah. Uh, but, you, you know, know I, I found, you know, when you were talking about research, right? For me, the biggest research, it's probably nothing to you guys. Because I used to go to dentist a lot. Right. Uh, like, you know, I, I used to have braces and everything. And and it was so perfect spot on with that fish tank in a dental office. Like it was just and I've been to so many dentist offices since then. Almost every one of them had a fish tank. And now, I mean, in terms of life imitating art now, I think, although, you know, some of them, it's not the case, um, especially as soon after the film came out. But even now, I, I think. The specific mix of fish you'll I, I don't think it's a coincidence that in a lot of no, places yeah that the, the mix of fish is the same from 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 nemo i think they they, they specifically folks tried to kind of recreate that yeah.